Good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully you had a good Super Bowl weekend. So we moved the class from the weekend to uh, Tuesday, um, just for this week uh, due to Super Bowl. Uh, so today we're going to talk about um, the USACO 2022 January contest, Latin level problem number one. The, this question, this problem is a little bit interesting. Um, so let's look at this problem. Basically, you have a list of heights uh, at the different height, right? Seven, for example, in this case, you have seven, seven, three, six, two. And you can move hay from stack of hay from one place to another place if the distance, if the height difference is less than or equal to k. Um, so, um, for example, in this case, we have k equals three. So you can move from here to here, but you cannot move from here to here. You cannot move from here to here. Okay. So the question is, if you are going to um, move, right? What is the minimum sequence of the height um, based on this? Okay, so let's first see how can we do this example here. Okay, so let's start it with greedy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to figure out which one can move to the front first. Okay, the for anyone that can move to the front, I will take the smallest one because we want the minimum sequence, right? We want the smallest one to the first. So if I look at first, it's I can only keep seven, right? The second one, I can only keep seven. And actually, I was wrong. I could move six to here. I can move. If six is here, um, because of this case three, right? Six is here, six can go here, six can go here. So the first time I can move six all the way to the front, okay? So if I move six here, 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 okay? So it becomes this. So now the first one I moved, okay? Let's ignore the first one. Then in this sequence, what I can do? I cannot move three, right? I cannot move two past this. So, so the next step, seven stays, right? So the third step, again, I cannot move any. So seven stays. This here, I can move this to here, right? I can move this to here. So it becomes seven, seven, two, three. Then I have last one, I don't need to move. If I move, I'm, I'm uh, because this number is bigger than that, right? So that's my result. So let's look at it. Uh, yeah, six, seven, seven. Okay, so that's my result. Okay, I can greedily, so right, I can greedily move this. Is this the best result? Um, let's say it's not the best result. Okay, for example, if I have a number, you know, somewhere here, I first moved X here. Okay, so now next time if I can, if I moved Y here. If y, let's say this is not the correct result. That means y can move in front of x. That means y is less than x. But I said x is the case where for all the things behind that can move here, it is the smallest. But then that's contradictory, right? Now we're saying y can move here, y is the smallest. So that will never happen. So this, the greedy is my, it's a workable solution. But the problem for this is, you can see it's O n squared, right? Uh, because you have to do every number. For every number, you have to find the smallest number that can move to the front, okay? So n is, 10, point, 10 to the power of five, right? So O n squared doesn't work. 
So we need to find a way to make it, how I can make it from O n to O n log n, right? That will be basically the problem. Um, because you have to you have to move everyone to the front for sure. Then this search basically means this search has to be log n, right? So we have to do log n search. Okay. What is this search? This search is the smallest, basically the minimum item that uh, can move to the front. Okay. Okay. Front is defined as the the one I just after the one I would complete it, right? So I need this logger. So so obviously, what we typically do logger, we do segment tree, right? But the pro so basically is it's kind of like doing minimum search, right? However, I have to do the one that is can move to the front. How do I do can move to the front? For each number, right? For each number, we can count how many of the number before it that you know is is high. Let's say it's too high, right? So so let's you know if I draw this, if I draw this again, it's let's say so so it's seven seven three six two right so if i draw it as a plot you know um, let's say this is my y there's seven seven three six and two right it's like this so for example my k is a three right i mean if i look at the three is it has to be within this range Okay, if it's within this range, I can move. Then if then, then I can see I have two of them, right? In this case, for three, I have two of them which is higher than me. If 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 my y, you know, my start is here. If my start is here, then then it's zero, right? So another example is if I look at six, right? If I put three up there, three down here, that means I did not draw it correctly. So that means, hey, everything is within this range. So I can move forward. That's why initially I moved the six right forward. So, so basically, if I have a function, okay, let's my call my function is barrier. Barrier ahead, okay. Barrier ahead of for each number. You know, for barrier head for number i, no, is number of items before i that uh, block the move, right, to the front. Okay. So um, the trick, right? So um, if I if I did that, okay. So let's call the uh, call this B. Okay. So if I plot with this, if we plot B of I, okay. First one, everything is in the front, right? So first one is zero. Second one is zero. The third one has two of them, right? Has two of them that block this. The fourth one is zero. The fifth one, this is two, right? Six is bigger than that. This is bigger than that. So this is three, right? So this is three, this is two. So if I first do a, a segment tree, then I want to find Right from all the way from here to here, 
that uh, which one is smaller. So obviously, and they can move front means zero, right? Those three items, which one is smaller? Obviously is this, right? And move this to the front. Now I want to see, you know, if I move, if I move six, right? If I move six, this is a six, right? If I move six to the front, okay. Now I have to calculate, ignore this. Basically means move to the front because don't count this anymore. Within here, okay. Um, what is the smallest, right? So that means you have to update. You have to update, right? So for that, what we're doing here is, right? From here to here, right? The minimum is seven, right? If I do a segment tree, right? From here to here, the minimum is six, right? Because this is bigger than two, I don't count, right? From here to here, the minimum is six, right? So that's how I find it, six. Then I move, remove this. Then I have to figure out what, then this will change, right? Because I move this to the front for, uh, for this one, for example, for this one, okay? That's the original number is two, right? Original number is two. I don't count this anymore. I don't count this anymore, right? So the number of things, uh, this number is three, right? So this is six, seven, seven, make sure you don't understand. So I don't count this anymore. So then this number is not three anymore, right? It's only two. So I have to update this number, okay? Um, so it's a standard second tree to find the minimum, but I have to update this number. How do I do that? Segment tree, how do I do that? Um, the, um, actually there's a hint for you, okay, in the problem. It says the problem is, the, the limit is four seconds and larger memory, twice the default. What does it mean? That tells you standard segment tree doesn't work because we need to consider this update, okay? Basically, we need to consider a way to move this. How do we remove this? Um, the actually the this is actually a standard uh, algorithm. It's called trip. Okay, unfortunately, trip is not in a um, LI syllabus. If you want to study trip, it's a uh, um, you should go to a Benjamin Q's uh, Benjamin Chin's uh, your cycle guide, and you go to advanced. And uh, you study, they, they, they're going to teach you the trips, okay? Trips is a tree, right? So trips is, what is trips? So basically we need to have a way, we need to have a segment tree, but we have a way to move, remove this. Is, is what trip does is we can rotate the items out. For example, this tree, right? I can rotate the tree, so that a portion of it go to the left and portion go to the right. So I can, you know, I can rotate items out so that I can do this minimum and the maximum easily. Okay. So if you can, then you can split the tree, you can merge the tree, there's all the implementations and how to do it. And some problems, example problems, even including ROI 2013. So, you can study of this. And uh, this is a standard um, problem if you learn how to do trip. And trip is slower, um, but uh, and it is uh, allow you to do this uh, rotation of a tree. And uh, that is why they actually give you um, more time and more memory, okay? Um, however, as I said, it's outside of the scope of, uh, of uh, all right, so let me show you how do you do this within the ROI, okay? Um, I, I leave this as a homework, okay? Please go study how to do trip. Um, 
So um, I let me tell you, but we can still do this, frankly, do this update without um, without uh, uh, using um, using trick. Um, the way so if you think about this, right? If you look at this problem, okay. If I look at this problem, um, what what happened is um, everything everything before. Um, if I what I need to do is um, I need to update, right? I need to update the um, I need to update the um, these numbers. Okay, I need to every time I remove one, I need to update those numbers. Okay. So which number I need to update? You know, let's say this is removed. I don't consider it anymore. So um, for example, this is six, right? That means everything um, before within the within this barrier, within this boundary, right? I need to reduce it. I need to reduce, I need to reduce by one, right? Everything um, else, uh, I mean, outside of the outside of the boundary. I mean, outside of the boundary, I need to reduce by one, right? Um, for example, if I take this as example, right? So, what is outside of the boundary? Um, so, three uh, is within the boundary, right? Two is outside of the boundary, for example. Two is outside of the boundary, right? If I remove this, if I remove this item, right? This item is removed. Then for this item, right? If I remove this item, right? Let's say this is removed. And for every item outside of the boundary of three, three, right? So you remove the one of the barriers. So you need to remove one. So, so for example, if I have another number here, right, okay? So you should also remove the the b b of i have to reduce by one. So basically, for everything that is outside of this, you should remove um, by one. Okay. So um, how do we how do we do that? I mean, we 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 know how to do that, right? So. Um, if you if you um, kind of like sort right sort the um, sort it by um, by the um, by the um, by the the height right if I sort by the height. Uh, then, then you can easily um, identify what is in the boundary and what is outside of the boundary, right? Think about it. Is that okay? Got it. So, um, if I um, so um, let's take this as an example. And um, so if I build a tree, right, based on this, if I build a tree of two, three, six, seven, seven, I mean, build a segment tree, right? So this has height of, this has height of three, right? This has height of two, this has height of zero, this is a height of zero, and this is a height of zero. Okay, so you when you do the search, right? You want to find the minimum, the smallest index, right? Smallest index which has minimum of zero, right? So if I, for example, if I build a segment, build as my segment tree like this, right? So obviously this is minimum of zero. This is minimum of zero. And this is minimum zero, right? So then you know, oh, I I should this side 
minimum is two, right? So I have, should travel here, here, and here, right? That's my minimum of zip six, okay? So then from here, I, I pick this, right? This is going to be my first number, right? It's, right, this is going to be my, oops. Um, this is going to be my first number, right? I pick the six. Then I have to remove, remove this, right? Remove, I picked six, right? The first number is six. Then I have to remove six. Remove six, I can put this, for example, I put this as infinity, okay? So then, then this minimum is going to be zero, right? So this is infinity now. This is going to be zero. So the next time you travel is travel here, 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 or you find this. Now I have to update, right? Update my barrier. As I said, everything within plus minus three, right? So this is six minus K. This is a six plus K, right? Within this range, I don't change. Everything outside of this range, like here, I'm going to minus one. You know, if I have anything here, I'm going to minus one, right? Everything there. So basically this number is going to be three minus one. This is going to be reduced to two. Right. Then, then after you finish, so the next time you do this, then we reduce all reduce to one. Next time you do it, all reduce to zero. Then you pick this first, then you pick this first. So everything within this range, you have to update. So that's our standard lazy segment tree, lazy update, right? Lazy update in segment tree. Okay. So how do you find this range? I mean, that's easy, right? You, you put, uh, this is my, you know, you, this is your list. You do a binary search, right? That's a standard binary search, okay? You do standard binary search, find this boundary and this boundary. Then everything here and here, you do lazy update, right? By minus one. Then you search for the minimum, which is the one which is zero, right? Then you, uh, you update this, you make this, once you pick this, you make this infinity. Okay, so now instead of trip, we can use lazy update of the segment tree, right? To do this, right? So first I pick this, then I pick seven, right? Uh, let me let me redraw this, right? So you understand it. So two, three, six, seven, seven, right? Originally, the barrier before it is a three, two, um, I'm put it below so it's easy to, to write update. Okay. Originally, below it, you know, this is the height, right? And this is my B of I, is originally the three barrier, two barrier, zero, zero, zero barrier. So the first time I pick this, right, because this is the smallest with barrier of zero, so it becomes six. Then I remove this, then, then, then I have to update this, become two, two, this removed, I don't care, it's infinity and infinity, okay, so I don't care anymore, zero, zero. Then I pick this, right, so it's seven. So seven minus three is six, right? Seven plus three is this. So all of those has to be reduced. This is outside of the range. So become one, one. I mean, that's infinity, that's infinity. I don't care anymore. So that's zero. So I pick this one, right, seven. Okay, anything before seven. So it's, you know, we seems minus three, plus three, right? So this is plus three, minus three. So those are outside, so it's zero, zero. Okay, all those are infinity, I don't care anymore. So those both are zero, but two is the smallest, right? So then I remove that, then everything with minus plus three don't change. Everything above it, minus one, but it's infinity, who cares? So then we're left with zero, and I pick three, right? So that's how I get my answer, six, seven, two, two, three. So that's just a, a lazy, you know, I, I sorted by the, the, the height, right? Then every time I pick, it's a lock, right? So this is every time, um, binary search, binary search is log on, right? 
um, I do I, I do binary search two times, right? Then I do um, I do a lazy update. Lazy update is I do two times this side this side two times, log in. Then at this point I also need to update, right? Basically update to infinity. That self is logged, right? So they all basically log in. I mean, couple of times of log in. Um, and then you do n of them, so n log in, right? So uh, now the only thing we left have not calculated is how do we calculate this b of s and b of i, right? B of i is, you know, basically for, you know, I mean, the initial, initial b of i, how do I calculate that? It's basically for i's item, what is number of items that uh, outside, right, outside this uh, plus minus k range. If you think, if you look at this, it's the same way of, it's the same way of doing this, right? Basically, you're just counting this. So let me show you. So um, the only difference is I insert it. Um, I insert the item from beginning to end once a time, right? So again, my height, if I sort it, is two, three, six, seven, seven, right? That's my height. I mean, cannot spell today. So um, the the array, right? The array, the, the, the array started with seven, seven, three, six, two. That's an order, right? That's an order. So I insert one at a time. Okay. So first I insert seven. Okay. Seven is one, everything else is zero, right? So what is outside of you know plus minus three? Um zero of that, right? Nothing is in front of it. Okay, next time I insert one again, right? Next time I insert one at this seven, right? How many is outside of plus minus three? Again, zero, zero, right? So that means this is zero, this is zero. So next time I insert three, okay, three at one now. So three minus one is zero, three plus one is six. How many of them are, okay, those are outside. How many of them are outside? One, two, right? So that's the sum, right? So that has two. Um, Again, this is sum, you, you you just do it in segment three and uh, that's log in, right? Next time you put six, okay? Six is three to here, right? Six has how many? Zero, right? Nothing blocking. The last one you input one here. One is here to five, right? How many outside of that? Three of them, okay? So that's, you get the count. That is, again, uh, you do n of them, each of them is log n, right? You insert one, that's log n, you do the sum log n, right? So the initial BS calculation is log n. So you do this once, right? Once you did the BS and B of I um, um, barriers, right? Then you do this, right? Then you do search minimum and the binary search find the boundary and do lazy update every time reduce, reduce it by one, right? Okay, so um, that's basically how you do it. Instead of using trips, you can use lazy update. Um, so uh, you have, you basically have a two segment tree. I mean, it's a same order. You have a two segment tree. The first segment tree is you, you do it once, um, you, you basically sort it, right? By the orders of the height. And then you insert, you know, every time you insert one, right, count by one, based on the original order, not the height of the order, then you count how many in front. So that's n log n. Once you get the B, 
the function B, which is the barrier before how many items block it that you cannot move forward. Then you take the you know, another segment tree, I mean, which is the same base element. And then you do every time you find the one that you can move forward, which is a minimum. And then you update it by not updating things within the range, plus minus K, but reduce everything outside of the range. Because as, as we show here, right? If you remove this item, right? If you remove this item for every barrier, um, for every barrier um, outside of this range, it's, it's a possibility is reduced by one, right? So uh, that pretty much uh, is the answer to the to the to the question. So um, instead of doing the like we do before, the um, you know I'm writing the pseudo code. Um, I think you understand once that goes through this algorithm with you, you understand the, algor the, the algorithm and uh, this is a standard lazy update and a binary search. I don't want you to code this. Instead, um, I want you to study the, um, the trips. Uh, why did I write it? I want you to study the trips um, by go to Benjamin Chi's uh, New cycle guide website and the study um, study the uh, the trips. Uh, it's uh, a very interesting uh, algorithm. Uh, it's a little bit slower uh, than standard segment tree, but allow you to do this rotation um, and uh, dynamically update the, the tree. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, implementation. Please go study that. And use the use the example code uh, already available um, on uh, Benjamin Q's website and uh, implement uh, this problem. Okay, uh, thank you for meeting today. Uh, hopefully, you have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we will talk next time.